Okay, so we went and took the train. This is her daughter, and she's just pregnant. She kept doing that. It's like, oh my gosh, Taylor, I caught her doing it this time, you know. So we walk up the Pyrenees Mountains from St. Jean, and then it gets to the point where it's getting a lot, it's a lot higher. The weather is perfect. The scenery is unbelievable, it's how green it is, you know. We go to this place and spend the night. Um, and, you know, Orison, a lot of people stop there first time. It's a great place. The wonderful people. The wine's delicious. But that's the first day right there. Boom. So I'm going to continue to walk past Orison, which is just right up here. And hopefully right to Roosevelt's. That's my daughter, Taylor. That's my daughter, Kylie, when we walked it. This is the path I'm gonna be taking, but if you look how we're dressed, we're starting to get a little bit warmer, right? But it's a pretty hot walk, so you're like, you're sweating, so efficient clothes is huge. But, show you this real quick. Cause this is where I have, in two weeks, this is what I'm about to do. So that, that's why I'm kinda of getting this in my head right now. So to go, we go up even higher on the Pyrenees. And it's, it's you know, it's a beautiful April morning, right? Once we get about to the top, though, the mist is just making it, like, it's cold. There's my kids. Now, at first, having this much weight on you is great because you have all of this material to stay warm during your walk, you know? This is us going over the Pyrenees. So this will be my first day when I land. This coming June 28th, I'll be up on the top of that hill. This one right here. But you could tell how we're dressed for there. I mean, this is like, it's like winter. I mean, it's not winter, but the conditions and the wind. And... But once you get to the other side, you have all this excess equipment that you're never going to need again. Cruise de Ferro was uh, was cold, but the, just go to the Alberga a little bit earlier. So anyway, this ain't a show and tell in my last video. I just wanted to point out uh, this is going to be my first day. So then I, when it goes from just, you know, What's neat about the Camino, too, is that everywhere you find, there's fountains of potable water. Dealing with the water. But, like, here's a fountain you walk up and fill your water bottles. Those are all over Spain. To hell with the water bottle. That is the idea right there. Gets the plastic out. Use the plastic for gas. Anyway, so then it's nice and sunny and hot. So now we have all this extra clothes. This is where we packed it all up in a box and sent it forward 25 pounds of excess stuff. Here, I'm gonna fast forward this a bit. Um, Cause this is where it got to be hot walking. And this is pretty much like a... As soon as you get to the other side, you're getting warm again. Oh, that's, that's great, people. She's got Canadian friends. But this is the town, and you're all overdressed, you know? The, the villages are just cool. A little espresso. They want you to know when you get in that line. You get to the front line, you better know what you want and tell them because they don't like the him and hawing. You waited in that line this long. This man ripped me a new one. Anyway, this is my first day. So the circle is complete. On June 27th, I fly out of Washington State to Newark. 
switch planes, fly to Paris, then go to a smaller plane and fly to Barretts. Get off there, shuttle to St. Jean. Now, the plane lands at 12.30, right in the middle of noon. So I'm right at the southern France, the middle of noon. So I should be able to shuttle in and get some place to, uh, just a bed to stay in that first night so I can get up super early and start walking. Okay, so from the last video to this one, I'm going as far as I can till I get almost to Santiago and then I'm gonna bus to Santiago, walk out to the ocean and then make my way down backwards through the, um, of course after being Spend the weekend in Fistier, Moshia. Got up the Calamari. Anyway, then I walk backwards down to Porto, get as far as I can to Santorium, stop there, meet my friend Julian, maybe stop at Fatima. I'm flying out of Lisbon back to Boston. So, and then Boston to Seattle. That ticket I just bought yesterday so now I have the complete circle so forward I'll walk the Camino until it starts to get to the point where more and more tourists and stuff show up and it's just better for me if you walk the whole walk if that's absolutely not possible and I completely understand I would walk a separate smaller you know in my just in my opinion only um, or a lot of people break it up but it seems like the last part of it, really, it gets pretty difficult. And I would say from the 110K part into um, Santiago. So I'll probably bust to that. But anyway, it's nice. I just got my tickets. So I've actually got two tickets to Paris. So I have plenty of room. If the plane overbooks, I'll sell my second seat. I'm a hoe that way. But now that the whole circle is complete, it makes me feel a lot better about the journey itself. That's my mother-in-law shell. It's got all our colors on it. Because I don't know if I've ever mentioned this here or seen these before, but each one of these is the... It represents one kid or one person in my family. Everyone's got their own color. Depending upon which way they did the Camino. So... The circle's complete there. I'm feeling good about it. I'd like to take that backpack, you know, this one right here. But it's more like showy. And it seems as though, you know, that would just be wearing on your back, especially with a bedroll on it. Maybe it's more broke in, too. So, I'm going stamp hunting again. Saying some kind words, lighting some candles, all good. That's coming up in a week and a half. So I've got the flight all connected. Um, the wife bought me some euros for my birthday, which is really cool. I'm finishing up around the house. Not cool this box I'm building. Turned out pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just from scrap, scrap wood. This kind of stuff looks good as it gets bumped around and stuff. So it gets a little bit older looking. Their Camino shell. From a necklace. This guy from South Africa weaved this up right in front of me. It's pretty cool. Oh wait, I don't know where I got that. Maybe. I think because I had two of them. This guy was whittling this right alongside the Camino. Oh, hey man, I'll get one of those. Those are pretty cool. Figured it would adorn this box since it's been sitting in a drawer for so long. Well. Then my little brother Scott, who recently passed away. Before the during the good times. See, I remember him all the way back to you know, when we were little kids, so we got more of a history than Maybe his kids have, or... Anyway, so I'm going to be lighting candles for that man's soul. 
Okay, so Buen Camino, the countdown's happening. Just I'm uh, gonna give you a first couple day, two weeks from now, this is how I'm gonna bounce. God bless, Buen Camino. Hope you do it. You need it. <laughs>